Many experts predict that by the year 2030, the world's population will swell to 8 billion. To meet demand, food production will have to increase. And to make that happen, we'll need to get more nutrients to more crops than ever before. Mycorrhizae, or fungus root. It's not a fertilizer. Instead, it's a web of microscopic tentacles that help plant roots absorb soil nutrients. And it's been doing that for 450 million years, when plants only existed underwater and the fungi sprouted on what was then barren land. Once it made the evolutionary leap, the fungus spread across the globe, and everywhere it went, plants soon followed. Today, mycorrhizal fungi live in 95% of the Earth's undisturbed habitat, the habitat that fertilizes itself with recycled organic material provided by the fungus. The fungi work in a symbiotic relationship with the plant root. The fungi receive sugar from the root. In exchange, they absorb and send soil nutrients back for the plant. When those nutrients are depleted, the fungi simply reach further into the soil for more. The reason we use mycorrhizal fungus is because the plant roots and the plants, when they go into the local soils around here, the soils have been usually a construction site. Uh, they've been devastated. There's no microorganisms. There's no beneficial bacteria in the soils. So we put it in as kind of an insurance policy. That's how we started using it. Although its use is in its early stages, the effect of the mycorrhizal fungus on crop production looks promising. Independent research shows up to a 20% increase in corn, wheat, vegetable, and fruit yields when farmers combine the fungus with fertilizers. And as it did 460 million years ago, it has the potential to help turn vast areas of barren desert into productive croplands. It could be a match made in fertilizer heaven. And as we move deeper into the 21st century, we can be thankful for the soil nutrients that keep us alive.